Welcome to Darakht Danish Digital Library. This library is a collection of open education resources for teachers, teacher trainers, school administrators, literacy workers and others involved in furthering education in Afghanistan, as well as materials for any curious mind who wants to learn something new. In this library you will find a variety of open source resources for use in Afghan educational classrooms. This includes lesson plans, pedagogical tools, exercises, workbooks and many more kinds of learning materials. These resources can be freely accessed by library users and we encourage users to add to the library by uploading their own resources to expand this collection for the benefit of others. If we share good learning materials with each other, we can certainly make more out of less. This library with everyone's help can be a rich resource for teachers in rural areas whose access to information is limited. In turn, these teachers can spark learning of boys and girls who deserve a better education. What will you find in the DD library? Learning materials that are free and open for everyone. View them on the site, download them, print them, and share them. Materials are in Dari, Pashto, English, and six minority languages spoken in Afghanistan. Uzbeki, Munji, Nuristani, Saji, Shignani, and Pashai. All subjects taught in basic education in Afghanistan. Resources for primary, secondary, and tertiary levels and general resources for any audience. The opportunity to download and upload. An easy to use system. Let us show you how. The first step to using the library is to open an account. To do this, first open your browser and go to the DDL site. You will be asked to select your desired language and then click register. On the next screen, you will be asked to select the username and password and to enter your email address. Further down, you can enter your personal information as well as answer some additional questions. Then submit and that's it. You're now registered on DDL and ready to use the library. Once you're a registered user, you can easily access our online library. Just click on the library from the menu along the top. On the left, you will see search categories you can use to help you find specific resources you may need. Search by subject, types and level. You can also use the search bar at the top to find resources. If you know the specific title of the resource you're looking for, you can search for it that way. If not, you can type in the subject to find all resources in the library to do with that subject or use a keyword related to the subject or topic you're searching. Once you've found what you're looking for, you can read the resource online or download it to your computer. To help our collection grow, we invite users to submit content to the library. How can you add your own resource to the DD library? Once you've logged in on the right side in the visitors menu, click on submit a resource to the library. You will be directed to another page where you can upload the resource file and provide all the required information about it, such as its title, a short description, publishing information, and key search terms to help other users easily find your resource. It is important to know that when something is created, for example, a photo, a document, or a music track, it's automatically protected by copyright. You must always obtain the copyright holder's permission before sharing or reusing their work, even when it's posted for free online. But what if a creator wants to allow anyone to use their work? Creative Commons can help. It provides the facility for creators to share their work under a free license. The following is an explanation of the licensing options available for materials uploaded to the Darakht Donish library. We prefer wherever possible to have materials under a free license in keeping with our commitment to open educational resources. OERs allow educators and students to reuse and adapt them for their own purposes in a way that simply isn't possible with less free materials. Free CC0 slash public domain. These works are not under copyright and can be reused or adapted with no restrictions. CCBY slash CCBY SA. Creative Commons attribution or attribution share alike licenses. These licenses allow work to be reused and adapted at will, so long as the original source is attributed. Share alike adds the additional requirement that any derivative works adaptations of the original be under the same or equivalent license. 
ccby-nc slash ccby-nc-sa Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Licenses These licenses allow works to be reused and adapted so long as this is not done for commercial purposes and the original source is credited. As above, SA adds the additional requirement that any derivative work adaptations of the original be under the same or equivalent license. Less free ccby-nd slash ccby-nc-nd Creative Commons Attribution No Drives or Attribution Non-Commercial No Drives Licenses Work under these licenses can be reused with attribution but cannot be adapted in any way. Non-commercial further forbids reuse for commercial purposes. These works cannot be translated. Reproduced with permission, translation allowed. This license applies to works for which we have received permission to reproduce or translate on the DDL website only. These works can be used in the classroom but cannot be shared or adapted on other sites. Reproduced with permission, no translation. This license applies to works for which we have received permission to reproduce only in their own original form and only on the DDL website. These works cannot be translated. Permission pending. This tag is applied to works for which we have requested permission from the copyright holder and have not yet received a response. These works should not be translated and generally will not be publicly available until the question of permission is resolved. We also include other option. If the licensing granted by the creator for their works is not listed and we require you to add it in a text box, and the unknown option, if the creator or publisher of the work is unknown or efforts to contact them were unsuccessful. In cases where the work is tagged as unknown, we provide an opportunity for copyright holders to contact us to clarify the status of the work. Don't forget to add a revision log message so other authors understand the changes you're making. Now that you're done, your resource will be sent to our editors for approval and then will be available online on DDL under your own name as the user who uploaded the file. Some other tools that you might find useful in the library are the glossary and links. The glossary is a list of terms categorized by subject. If you come across a term or word that is new for you, you can use the glossary to look it up. To open the glossary, go to the home page, scroll down and click DDL Glossary or go directly to this link below. In our links page, we have a list of other online resources that may be useful to you, such as other online libraries, video collections and other websites where you can access learning resources for free. We hope you find the Daracht Donish Library a helpful resource to use in your classroom, helping you prepare better teaching materials and planning resources. We welcome you to share your feedback at any time, and we hope that together we can build a strong education system in Afghanistan.